in a way I think every generation has its own ambition. I see the students of the future being impatient about problems that they think they've inherited. We're already seeing that. They don't want a, a planet and a future, an economic future, an educational future, an environmental future that seems like it's limited and they don't want to think about their scope and their capacity to be limited, they want to build from aspiration. So they're going to come in increasingly practical in some ways, but also idealistic. And I think that's exactly what you want. The students of the future at Dartmouth are going to come from all walks of life and all parts of the world. They're going to need resources to go back out into that world that are different than what we might have today. They're going to need um, to make connections globally in a way that we haven't had to do. I don't think that there is one student of the future, and that's by design. I think that there's, the student of the future is diverse, that they're someone with a wide range of experiences in their background. They come from all sorts of different places. Um, they, some of them are, I mean, and, they, and all sorts of different interests too. Um, I think that Dartmouth has always and will continue to attract students who have really high standards for themselves, people who aren't just passive participants in the world, they're people who want to go out and find something they can do to help and then take it with both hands. The rate that technology has changed, the opportunities that many students are getting now for study abroad programs and travel in their high school education, I think just creates an entirely different dynamic for students when they come to college. And I think you're going to see uh, maybe a heightened awareness of opportunities that extend beyond their state, their nation, and also I, I hope there's an eagerness to learn more. If Dartmouth wants to be effective in training students for the future, they need they need to be um, what, what I've heard described as by um, someone from IBM as T-shaped people. So they're deep in one area, so they have a, a depth of knowledge, but they're also broad, so they have a lot of other interests and a lot of, if not expertise, at least general knowledge so that they can effectively collaborate with people in other disciplines. One of the greatest things uh, that I found working at Dartmouth is that the students are really interested in interdisciplinary work and so are the faculty. So even though people are in a film department or computer science department, Often their interests span more than one thing, and, and the students are this way as well. The students who are attracted to come here may be opera singers on the football team who are majoring in physics. <laughs> and those are the kind of people who come here. They're very well-rounded and eccentric kind of people, and uh, I say this in a good way, that people who are willing to pursue their passion. So you, you have a lot of people with a lot of different skill sets. I think in the future, we're gonna see students who are able to engage with and try things out that they've never thought that they, they could do before. And Dartmouth's always done this to a certain extent, but it's going to be in new ways. They're going to come here and they're going to have exposure to the best resources possible, the, um, the best knowledge, and the ability to put these resources and knowledge together in new ways. They're going to be doing things in their experience at Dartmouth that people didn't know were possible. They're going to be entrepreneurs, they're going to be inventors in their four-year college experience. One of the great things about being an academic is that we are incredibly excited by what we do. We wake up every morning and we just want to do it. Um, and I want that for my students. Um, I think that is an incredible gift to be able to wake up and have something that you love and that you are good at and that you think can make the world a better place. That's what I want for my students. I don't need for them to be computer scientists. I don't need for them to be mathematicians. I want to enable them to explore during their four years here so they can find the thing that they are passionate about, the thing that will make them happy and productive.